Hello, it's me, it's Mr Finch. It's Tuesday. Normally that would be singing assembly, but do you remember, we're not really meant to be singing with our big loud voices because we might spread those some germs around. So just for a while, we're not doing singing assembly at school. Don't worry, I will record a singing assembly and you can listen to it and join in with it at home. But for the kids at school, I'm going to do a picture book assembly. This book that I've got is really new. It's only just come out and it's called Dare. It's by Lorna Gutierrez and Polly Noakes and it's published by the lovely people at Tiny Owl. It's called Dare. What would you dare to do? Would you dare to ride your bike? Would you dare to ride it on the road? Would you dare to ride it safely? Would you dare to ride it down the woods? My brother just did and he's had a bump on his head so maybe don't do that. At least if you do make sure you're wearing your helmet. Would you be brave enough to stand up for what you believe in? If something was really important to you would you Write a letter, make a banner, march in the street, use your voice and shout out loud. If something was being done that was wrong, something to hurt another person, would you be brave enough to stop that happening, to look after that other person? So there's a lot of being brave around at the moment, people standing up for what they believe in. And there's lots of people being brave as well. With the virus, some people had to be brave enough to go out and shop. For some people that was scary to look after other people, older people or people who were shielding. It was brave to look after them. And then recently with the Black Lives Matters protest, people have been brave enough to go and stand in the street and say what they think and express themselves. And that's brave too. We can all be brave in our own way. We can all be brave even if it's just saying, this is me this is who I am. That's a kind of bravery. That's the sort of things that Lorna Gutierrez was thinking about when she wrote this lovely book. Let's read it. You see what it says. Dare to dream. Dare to aspire. Dare to trust. Dare to inspire. Dare to do what hasn't been done. Dare to be second to none. Dare to see what others don't. Dare to speak when others won't. Dare to reach out and take a chance. Dare to sing. Dare to dance. Dare to have a hand to lend. Dare to be your own best friend. Dare to enjoy a silent night. Dare to be a shining light. Dare to be who you truly are. In the light, in the dark, be you a star. So I wonder what kind of brave you've been in these last few weeks. Have you been brave and looking after yourself? Have you been brave and uh, keeping out the way of mum and dad while they try and do their jobs? Have you been looking after a brother or a sister? Have you been helping to look after someone down the road? Have you been helping to look after yourself? Have you been brave about saying who you are? There's a million different ways to be brave. You don't have to go out and save a life. You don't have to uh, do something huge and adventurous. Sometimes just being sure of who you are and sticking to it is a special kind of bravery. I bet you have been and I'd love to hear about it. Until next week I'm going to say goodbye and I'll read you another book then. Have a brilliant week everybody. Good to see you. Look after each other. Bye.